morning everybody. Welcome to Disney Day. Ten. Ten. <laughs> Ten. Good morning from Animal Kingdom. Quick little tip for you, if the queues are going out and down past this building has the Animal Kingdom sign on. If the queues are out past that, come behind and have a look because there was literally like nobody in these middle queues to go behind this building because nobody thought that they could walk around and you can just go and have a nosy have a see and then most probably the space for you so then you get in the shorter queue rather than waiting all the way down through towards the car park don't let the sunshine deceive you it's only nine degrees this morning not that bad if you're going to fly a passage don't go down the middle shed yourself a couple people and go down the side section so it's super exciting, we've got a Tusker House breakfast this morning but 9 not until 9.30 because we scheduled it so we could come and do flight of passage in the morning because obviously we didn't know if we were going to have ridden it by now but we've actually ridden it three times now um, but we're actually... So because that's the front of the line there Yeah, so it's not actually gone through the queue yet And for some reason I wrote down that we were having Tusker House breakfast at 8 o'clock You're crazy So we got up super early to try and get here to realise it was actually at half nine. So we're in the park, it's currently 20 past eight, extra magic hours don't start till 8.30. So we're super in front of the crowds. And obviously that tip with getting in behind the Animal Kingdom sign that helps, us quite a bit. helps get us earlier in, the, earlier in the line here. We've not stopped yet and we're at the Slayton Mountain. What time are we on, Thomas? 8.30. Exactly half past now, so They'll be starting to run the ride, but we're still going in. That was as great as always. Yes, I'm glad we, we managed to get it in because it's, what was it, 140 minutes you said now? It's 140 now, yeah. It said half an hour when we, when we were walking in. Yeah. I think it was probably quicker than that. It's quarter past nine now, so it was like, 50 minutes for us and then we've got Tusker House in 15 minutes yeah. I love coming into the shops because they're warm but it's so much colder when you go back outside <laughs> I want to get something I, want I know I want something Pandora-y um, patch but they don't do one yeah they don't do any no. avatar patches they have a couple of pin badges but no patches they have these button badges around the corner from um, the safari and things. Well, our table is ready. We're gonna head up this way. Up to the blue double doors. There we go. Just right on it, enjoy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, we got our table before. Awesome, thank you. Wait for your server to get your drink before you get your food. Okay, awesome. And car workers will come to our table. Okay, awesome, thank you so much. <laughs> Costume. Yeah, I love but the um, It's not a costume, it's an outfit. Yeah. Oh, and I love your pack dino one. You've been on dinosaur. I got everything. <laughs> That's so cool. Should we take yeah, it? Yeah. So straight in, straight down, straight to see in general. Donald greet, greeted us immediately. Yeah. Uh, the next little goofy, but he's got the whole of this back room to do. So we might go get some food. But yeah. we got another postcard. That one's cool. And then you got on the back. All the signatures. Ah. <laughs> so I'm guessing they don't sign autograph books, they give you these instead. I think you get this in as well as. Oh, as well as? Okay. I'm sure. Cool. So That's got, really cool. We've got the jungle juice, which is exactly the same as the, um, the Riviera juice, which is funny. But and Ohana. And Ohana, yeah. I think Goofy's coming. He's just there. <laughs> Hi, Goofy. <laughs> How are you? 
Good. We love your outfit. Yeah, who's the best explorer? Oh, thank you, Luke. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> it's not Donald, he's not number one, you're number one. <laughs> nice. There we go. Stick around. Thank you very much. Thank you have great exploring today. <laughs> Oh. Let's go get some food. <laughs> so we're heading on in to the buffet. To the buffet. What are we going for first? Waffles. So we've got bagels, sliced breads, croissants, zebra coffee cake. And then, I don't know what this is. Don't know. Oh. We've got mini cinnamon rolls, blueberry muffins, chocolate twists. Guava pastries, strawberry cream cheese, plain cream cheese with smoked salmon, um, orange salmon, sliced tomatoes, onion. Sorry if you can't hear me. The celebration's going on right now. There's Mickey. Hard boiled eggs, overnight oats with berries and granola. Uh, some fruit, some melon and stuff. And then next up we've got watermelon and feta salad, uh, black, eyed, black eyed pea salad, <laughs> uh, carrot and chickpea salad. I like how there's custard powder on the shelf as a display, but I have that in our pantry at home. <laughs> I think I'll have an orange. Oh, what? That's not real. It's stuck. <laughs> also got potato barrels. Uh, sausage patties, so like beef burgers, uh, bacon and ketchup. We've then got pancakes, Mickey waffles and Simba and Nala waffles. Uh, I wonder if there's any maple syrup. We've also then got banana bread pudding, chicken curry and rice. So there's also mealy pack, uh, scrambled eggs, bacon and ketchup. And then this is where you get all of your syrup and everything. And then over here, there's some um, rotisserie ham as well as andouille sausage and other sausage and cheesy eggs. Breakfast potatoes, shak oh, sugar, not too sure what that is, vegetable frittata, salsa, uh, tandoori spice roasted tomatoes, uh, green beans, impossible babuti with chakalaka. And then you've got cereals like Rice Krispies, Fruit Loops and Frosties. Over here there's some fruit. So you've got apples, bananas, grapes and oranges. If you just want some granola as well, there's granola with sugar and raisins and little bowls here. So it's an all you can eat kind of buffet. So this is my first plate. Flipping I'm interested what this is. I know, that's a giant apple. <laughs> um, but this is my like pastry plate and then I'll go get maybe some cereal or some hot food in a minute when I finish this. But I also might put the banana in my bag to eat later. Um, but we come back to the table, they're filled with our jungle juice and I've got a big um, pitcher of hot water and some milk for our teas. Hi Daisy! Daisy! You okay? I'm loving the outfit. Isn't she beautiful? Yes, of course. The real number one duck. Thank you so much. Should we get some pictures? Yeah. Oh, lovely. There we are, perfect. Thank you so much, Daisy. We need to get ourselves some cats like yours. We do, yeah. <laughs> So, Alright, so as I was saying, <laughs> I got the Simba waffle and Nala waffle, they're the same, just flip it around and they got the characters on each side. I got this rainbow bread thing, a chocolate like a twist. Sunset. It is like a sunset, it is. I got this little coffee zebra cake, a little bit of, you know, melon, pineapple, some grapes, big old apple. I'll save that for later, I think, though. And a bowl of fruit loops. Are you ready? I'm ready. Whoa. Yummy. <laughs> Guys, it's just bread. It's just sliced bread. Hi, Mickey. How are you? Good, good. Are you having a nice day?
now we've met everybody, is it time for course two? Course two. So I've just gone for some bacon, some eggs, some breakfast potatoes, and then some frosties. Whereas Tom's gone a bit more crazy than me. I've gone for a, for a little bit of most stuff. We've got um, cheesy omelette, some um, what's it called, tomatoes. We've got some ham there. Some kind of sausage thing, bacon, Mickey waffle, and some rice stuff, and, and then this little egg, egg bread thing. Yeah, and potato barrels. Potato, potato tots. Potato tots. Potato tots. Looks pretty yummy. <laughs> so full. That's how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> So we have had a lovely time. Tuska house. Yeah, we spent so much time there. What time is it now? It's 11 o'clock now, so we spent an hour and a half in there. Yeah, I mean, we, we had our first first course, I guess. Yeah. I like what plate one and then let it sat, met the characters and then add another one. So, yeah, so we could have had dinner in between. Yeah, we made the most of it though. So yeah, it was, it was 40, really nice. It was $45 each and then tip on top and tax on top. So yeah. it was 95 plus our tip, which we did 17 because it was... 16 or 18, um, but it's a buffet, so yeah. So it was like over $100, but we think it, I think it was worth it. I think it was worth it. The food's really nice, it's different, but not too different. Yeah, like, and it's buffet. Sometimes yeah. I feel like buffet you can eat more. The buffets the are food, always good, no matter what. Yeah, all the food was yummy, and yeah, there was a wide selection, so yeah. enjoyed it. But we're gonna go get in the queue for the safari now, let our food go down, and enjoy a morning safari. It is sunny. I think it's going to be warm in the sun, but it is pretty cold in the shade. I'm going to put my jumper on. So there's the character breakfast. That was uh, £45 per adult, but you can also come here for dinner. And there are the prices. Let's please be courteous, scare them away from the truck rather than bring them time that researchers found the old copy had the same skull structure and long prehensile tongue as a giraffe. While crossing over on our right is the Saddle Build Stork. They get their name due to the yellow saddle shaped shield on their beak. They can stand at 5 feet tall with a wingspan of 9 feet long. I think the water most of the day they're not big on swimming. They'd much rather drop down to the bottom and walk or glide around. Wow. Ooh. They also have a pair of incisors that can grow to be about 18 inches long, which they use mostly for defense oh as they Excellent. are the most territorial. But they are a vegetarian. Oh yeah. A large migration group that happens every year in Africa. About one point. You'll also see some Maasai giraffe. You can tell them apart from reticulated giraffe due to their patterns. Neck is its weakest point, so they try to keep them up as often as they can, whether they're sitting or standing up which may be a reason why they sleep for about 30 minutes a day. But they're a browser, so they'll spend most of their time eating. Elephants are often endangered by poachers who poach them for their ivory tusks. They're much larger than black rhinos. Black rhinos weigh about 3,000 pounds, while white rhinos weigh about four to 5,000. They don't have any natural predators. They're mostly endangered by poachers who poach them for their horns made out of keratin same material as our hair and nails. There are no longer any northern white rhinos, but there are still the southern ones around. Oh, so Disney helps support conservation programs. I think this is why Animal Kingdom is my favorite park. There's just always so many fun things going on. <laughs> We've come back down to the oasis near the entrance to see if we can find a vine hidden in plain sight. But there's also lots of animals around in the oasis. Okay, mission unsuccessful. We asked the cast members just back here and they said they haven't seen her yet today but she might still come out. But um, she does meet in the oasis or she is around in the oasis. So. We're not going to waste our time, or we're not going to hang around there for half an hour, are we? No. 
But um, I think we're gonna head up now and do the uh, the Maharaja Trail, the one with the tigers. Yeah. And then head over to the Up Bird Show because we've not watched that one yet. Also, it has warmed up. I've just got used to my coat temperature, so now I'm scared to take it off. It's Kevin. Tom might finally be able to get his picture with her. Kevin. Tom. Kevin. Cheese. Oh, sorry. I look at his little wings. I want to eat your small version. Oh no! <laughs> Are you playing a shadow game? Oh, oh, oh. oh that's your shadow game. <laughs> 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 right, so we are coming into Feathered Friend in flight after seeing Kevin. Bottle. Oh, and he's put it in the bin. <laughs> together to hunt prey, which means that rather than hunting by themselves, if they hunt in groups, they can take down items much larger than they would otherwise by themselves. And if they have to go underneath in the ground somewhere, females tend to be larger than the males. So the males will go through, flush that animal out, and the female will be ready. Those legs, those feet, that's where all that power comes from. So they'll go ahead and get them that way. Last couple trees on the rock. Beautiful flight. Little tail wagon by. There we go. We'll see you later, Mason. Yep, we love you. We can't meet more birds. There we go until you leave. Mason, our hair is just off. All right, so we use a lot of positive reinforcement when it comes to working with our birds. So you notice Adam gave Luke a treat right when he got on that rock. That tells him in that moment, that's what I'm looking for. Do it again. So positive reinforcement is all, yeah. he just untied my shoe. Are you giving treats for that? Well, he came back over to me. We're just working on that loop, you know? It, oh. it, it just takes a little bit of time. 
but we're almost there. We're, we almost got it there. Okay, well, so here's the thing. You have to really think about what you're reinforcing, especially with smart birds like ravens, because they'll start to remember, what was I doing that? <laughs> I don't, I don't. Yeah, yeah. Don't. yeah. Why are we reinforcing him for untying my shoes? Because he's really cute. Okay, he's cute. <laughs> what happens when he unties their shoes? No, well, no, 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 I don't think first. Okay, can you please call back <laughs> over to your beard out. And then, Is that silver? That's my microphone cord! <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> uh, Groucho, one of our talking parrots that we have and we work with. Um, so we talked about the mimicry a little bit, but it, it's something that's really common. You see it all throughout the natural world. And it's just the ability to copy sounds that are around them. And we work with a couple of really, really amazing talking parrots. <laughs> Start off with a big hello or something, huh? Okay, yeah, there you go. take care of the environment, keep it cleaner. Boris, wrong way. The other way is where your food is. Yep, there you go. <laughs> we will see you later, Boris, our fair booth store. <laughs> Fraser Crane. <laughs> so yeah, like I was saying, those pieces of food, those nice little yummy treats that they're getting from us, those are like little deposits into our trust account with the animals. And hey, hello. Hey. It's I don't even think you looked at me. Okay, like, okay. Ready. Come on, right here, ready. Yes. yes. Go. Listen to that call. Everyone, I want you to be hope. Now, when Hope was younger, she was actually really sick, and through the rehabilitation process, was deemed not releasable. So she came to live with us and helped tell the story of how we almost lost these birds forever. It wasn't that long ago, bald eagles' numbers dropped so low, they were actually placed on the endangered species list. And a lot of people feared future generations weren't going to see or hear these birds out in the wild anymore. But some, all those efforts paid off, the numbers of bald eagles started to climb, and they were officially removed from the endangered species list. That's right, you know, okay, blue throat of macaws are only found out in Bolivia, and there is actually less than 100 nesting pairs left out there. Yeah, and that's a really scary low number, but it's not all bad news. We've been working with an amazing organization called the World Parrot Trust in hopes to help repopulate and reintroduce blue throat macaws back into wild places, so one day we could see skies filled with blue throat macaws. And that would be such an amazing <laughs> sight to see. And you know what it does in here? There are so many incredible birds out there with their own unique stories like this Toco Toucan right here. His name is Bruno, so we don't talk about him. <laughs> oh yeah, our crew over here with Howell, the knobbed Warbill. Just go outside. Oh yeah, we even have chickens here too. Yeah. Go outside, enjoy nature, create new connections. So on behalf of all of us up here, especially those with feathers, we want to leave you with one final wish. Wow. May your hearts take flight and your spirits soar forever. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you all for coming and enjoy the rest of your day here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Exploring Disney's Animal so cool. Kingdom. Mm. It was different to the last time we came, I think, a little bit. It's different every time, a little bit. Boy, you 
gone. Are you ready to go and see the tigers? I want to go yeah. see some tigers. Yeah. Yeah. There he is. Just hanging out. What's that noise? That's a tiger. Can hear him. I can't hear him. There he is. Hey guys. May I have this area right here? Yeah. Hi buddy. Mark. Oh, Looks like a boy. Look out, sweetie. Got a little snack. Hmm. A fun fact we learnt on the safari as well, not about tigers but about the lions, was that the male lion they have here is actually the male lion in the live action um, Lion King. Yeah. Yeah. So they came and watched him and like recorded him and stuff and then turned him into the like cartoon version. He's famous. The CGI one. Well, yeah, yeah CGI. That was a really good view of the tiger. He came to say hello. Oh. <laughs> what do you think the tiger was making the tiger's, noise for? Was it so uh, he wants his food? Or? Oh, no, the, the female's in heat. So oh, it, okay. It's a reproductive cough. Oh, okay. So he's telling her where he is. That's a communication. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. Oh, interesting. Thank you. We're having a little sunbathe with the water buffalo. If you are fancy something different, but look at this bin. It's like the Yeti going down the track. I wish they did the silhouette as a pin or something. Yeah. There's also Cali River Rapids, it's the same. That's closed for us at the moment. So we have come to this little truck next to Everest to get the Yeti Sunday. Mm. Yummy. We're going to share it because we're going to try and find another snack around the park somewhere. Yeah. So here we go, it's the Yeti Sunday. So we've got the Yeti on the um, white chocolate here. I don't know if you can see, let me turn in some, there we go. The Yeti. And then we've got soft serve and then chocolate on the bottom. And I did ask. And yes, it is meant to be that empty on the bottom apparently. They say no. They said it's meant to be that empty at the bottom. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> but okay. We're going to go enjoy this. Should we go sit over there and watch the boats come round? Yeah. Rafiki. Hi, Rafiki. Mm. There's Pocahontas Amico. That was yummy. Just chocolate ice cream, though. It was nice to sit here and have a little five minute. Five minute, ten minute break, relax in the sun. Let's hope he continues to be a lucky duck. Adventure on, explorers! 
What did you just say? I just around the recommend. What the <laughs> heck, Jess? That's Pocahontas. I know. <laughs> She's going down the river. Song. The magic is calling. I do it like is. it. So we're coming to the five o'clock showing the last of show. the Lion King for the day. So the last time we watched this, we were right on the front row. And now we're right on the back. <laughs> nice to see the different angle. Greetings, everyone. The glory. Welcome. We have been expecting you. We are here today to welcome you, one and all, to the festival of the Lion King. The count of three, let's drop it triumphant. One, two, three. <laughs> the mighty packeter. Oh. Welcome to the festival of the Lion King. <laughs> the day at Animal Kingdom here. It is around five o'clock. We're gonna head over to Magic Kingdom. Um, we've only had a full day 
and a bit at Magic Kingdom so far. So we've not done all the rides. We've not even ridden pirates yet. So we're going to head over there. We've done everything in Animal Kingdom at least twice. So yeah, and there's no evening show here anymore apart from the Tree of Life lighting up. So we've got one more morning here. We're going to head um, before we go home. So we're just going to head off to Magic Kingdom now for the evening. So we have again decided to get a bus to a hotel and then we're going to get the monorail over to Magic Kingdom. So we have decided to come to the Contemporary. Oh, we're going to have... Ages <laughs> to get It did. The bus took a while and then there was two um, motor scooters and then we had to go to a different resort first. It was a bit of a hectic journey. But anyway, we're here now and we're at the Contemporary. We've never been in here before, not even just to have a little nosy. So that's what we're going to do now, and then get the monorail over to Magic Kingdom. Oh, there's escalators. <laughs> Fancy hotel. But we've come in the ground floor because of the bus, and this is where the, um, the check-in and stuff is. Oh yeah, so you come to the Contemporary, there's the steakhouse, and what's the other dining thing that's here? Because you can do it where you can watch the fireworks from the roof, can't you? I know Steakhouse is good apparently, Ooh. they're real good. It's time to get ready to get back into the park. <laughs> oh yeah, Chef Mickey's. Oh, I'd love to go to Chef Mickey's one day. Oh look at the pictures on the shop! Tom's found something. Look at that! That's cool. Oh, collection Look 50. at that too. Not seen these before. This must be the new stuff, yeah. The vault collection is the new one that came out today. Ah, that's a cool Haunted Mansion t-shirt. Oh, it's a Amazon, Amazon Echo Show 5 stand. And this is what's in the hotel rooms. So we don't have these, but it's like a Alexa for your hotel room. Oh Tom, I want to go Chef Mickey's just to get a Chef Mickey. <laughs> I would have gone Chef Mickey's instead of be our guest if I knew. Yeah. But then we would have met oh. only the Fab only Five gang. <laughs> Mickey like five times. <laughs> <laughs> cool, the Chef Mickey's um, iPhone cases. That's awesome. Tom's really sad because they don't do iPhone mini, uh, iPhone 13 mini here and that's what he's got. The contemporary um, exclusive stuff is this long sleeve t-shirt, this polo t-shirt. And then there's this design kind of stuff. Hello sunshine. Uh, what's this say? Dazzling getaway contemporary. Beach towel. This is a magnet. And the mug. The design's really cool, it's different. They've also got some coasters and the little ornament. I told you more than one hat existed. <laughs> if they're gonna have it, it would be here. So they have two shops in the contemporary. One's full of pins and stuff. This is a really cool shop though. So many pins and t-shirts and toys. <gasps> There's another one on sale. And it's got the price tag on it. <laughs> They don't have it in stock though. Last smell. If you want this, come to the Contemporary and ask for it off the mannequin. <laughs> so we're going to just fill up our resort mugs at the Contempo Cafe. So we've got a drink for Magic Kingdom. Um, and then we're going to grab the monorail. Look at the snacks. Look at the snacks. Not oh, too bad good, you. thank you. Our 50th peanut butter pie. Oh, peanut butter. I know, everything's peanut monorail. butter. My, my. Which one? The monorail right there. Oh, the oh, monorail, that that's so cool. cool. Oh, there is that. Uh, oh, there's the Mike Chocolate Mickey, Mickey and Minis. They're cool as well. Okay. They're $25. And yeah, they have a contemporary 50th cupcake, which is awesome. But oh, right. Freedom. Let's go fill up our resort mugs. You want the Mickey Tommy, Dome cake? They're freestyle. Oh, the Mickey Dome cake. They are huge. They are oh, huge. Oh, is it $40. the thing that you get for your birthday? I think the, so. Like that big? I think so, yeah. <laughs> Still a lot. If you wanted this one, that's not 50th, before you, um, before these came out, Contemporary still has them. This is the one that I have at home from when we came in 2019. Okay, we made it back to Magic Kingdom. <laughs> Um, we are. Rail is <laughs> down. 
Yeah, the monorail is down. So we got another bus. So, but it was okay because it was very, very quick because it was right next door. So it's okay. Um, but we're going to go and prioritise rides while everybody's watching the fireworks. So yeah, let's have a look what the wait times are like and head maybe Pirates first or something like that, the ride we've not done yet. So we've grabbed the new map with Tiana's on it. Bayou Adventure. It also has Tron on it as well. Different different picture as well. So. Yeah, grabbing one of those, grabbing two of those. No, we don't need three. <laughs> it's so pretty. They're not doing anything special for the Hundra. I know, yeah. We can add. No, it doesn't, it, the Hundra starts here when the 50th ends. Are you sure? Yeah. Today's the day. I know, but I read it online. It's crazy, I but I love it. Oh, that's John. Oh, no, I didn't. There he is. <laughs> it's so pretty, Thomas. Oh, You're but... so pretty. Oh, you. Yeah. He's just bought some more stuff in the shops. I spent so much this holiday. I know. <laughs> so, off into Adventureland, which is very quiet. And we're going to head straight to Pirates. Straight to Pirates. Dun, 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 dun. Oh no, what's Pirates tune? Yo, ho, yo, oh, yeah. a pirate's like to no, me. I was kind of going for the... Dun, 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 the key line so different. Oh, the cannon. I forgot it. I know, I can only remember the Paris key line really. I can remember the Paris as well. couldn't remember that ride I very well. I can't remember that, this pirate at all. It doesn't have a, it has one small drop. There's no big drop and I don't think there's a photo. There's no photo. That and we, we just, know of. We just have Paris too deep in our minds. Ah, oh, this is where the hat is. I can't spend all my money. Forty dollars. I really want it, <laughs> but I can't have it. <laughs> You cut all the labels. There you go. <laughs> I love it. Ernesto de la Cruz is I would need it. <laughs> You're mine, my dick. We could have done the fireworks and been thunder like oh, we Oh, we could have. I love 
fireworks. Let's go to Big Thunder Mountain. Before anybody else. Yes. So Tom's a bit for a week. I'm just looking at these food stalls. And this is one of the snacks. It says Royal 50th Churros. Churros. Rolled in strawberry sugar, drizzled with marshmallow cream, topped with shimmer and shine sprinkles, and chocolate dipping sauce, which is amazing sounding. And then this over here, I don't know, really know what the food item is. Someone can enlighten me. But what is a bear claw? Bear claw dipped in chocolate and sprinkled with hazelnuts. We got in the queue just in time, it's real long now. All the way outside. It's leaving real quick though. If any of you folks are wearing hats or glasses, move them, because this here is the wildest ride in the wilderness! It's long! <laughs> It's all, is still there. It's all behind Scrim now though. Look, just big old boards down there. Never to be seen again. Bye guys. Look at it. <laughs> so if you go past Splash Mountain there are still toilets down here and they might be a bit quieter so if you... There are still some Splash Mountain pressed pennies down here if you want them. So if you want in the Splash Mountain souvenir, then this is probably the last one available. Yeah. I wish they still did things like the Muppet Show or the Hall of Presidents. Are you sure they don't? I'm pretty sure they don't because it's not on the app. How does it go again? Great moments in history, but only the American parts. Yeah. I feel like that's too long. So we're next to the castle and there's a photo pass here. And look how cool this is. You get to hold Cinderella's slipper. Okay, so we're gonna head in and grab some hot dogs at Casey's. First time this trip. What are you getting? Just a normal one? Um, <laughs> are you sure you don't want the, the funnel cake 50th one? <laughs> I love a chili doll. <laughs> look at it. Ones. That's ridiculous. I kinda want it though. I'm having a chili cheese dog. You're having a chili cheese dog. And then I might even get this fresh penny silk pie 50th dessert. Let's give it a go. So we're outside so it's a bit dark so I've got the flashlight on my phone. This is my Chicago style hot dog but I've put some of Tom's cheese on the top so ignore that. And then you get fries with it. And then Tom's got the, the chili cheese dog. Chili cheese dog. Which looks pretty good too. And then he gets fries with his too. And here's we got a pressed penny. Pressed penny pie. So I think it's just chocolate. But it does look real good. <laughs> <laughs> we just did a whole bit and it wasn't, it wasn't filming. filming. But again, it is nice. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> it does just about fit in my mouth. I didn't think it would. Yeah, it's very. Mm. It's good day. Mm. This one's very pickly. I love a good Casey's corner. Mm. Alright, let's give this. Let's give this. What is it? Um, pressed penny. Pressed penny. Silk pie. That's just. Is cream. it soft or hard? That's real soft. And then the only bit that's hard is the. The base. The base. Oh, Jess, I'm shaking because it's cold out. Oh, Thomas. 
Mmm, that is real good. It's like all right. It's like chocolate mousse. It is very simplistic, like it's not too much. Yeah, there's a whole whole chocolate layer. Whole chocolate layer? That's barely anything. Like underneath the cream. It's just not a lot to it. You were thinking it was going to be a whole like chocolate fancy stuff. I thought it was going to be like Mississippi mud pie or something. Which it is similar to, it is nice, I just think there's too much cream on it. That's the chocolate. <laughs> yeah, see that is like Mississippi mud pie a if little they bit. Had the chocolate layer just needed to be thicker. Yeah. So we're going to end the night with one last battle. I just want to try beat our own scores. Yeah. <laughs> we're stuck right by the entrance. Only because they let someone in one that was not meant to be let in on. Attention all space racers, your space cruisers have been re are you ready? Please remain seated. Yeah. <laughs> Too cold. Too cold. Too cold. It's time to right. tie it. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Guys, I won! For the first time ever! I did rubbish. That's what we normally get. But right at the bottom of the first surg, there's a thing that you hit and it gives you like a hundred thousand. Never get to like to hear and forget to come and get your sticker. We'll never get that. We might one day. So the monorail is still down and this is the queue for the bus to the Secret and Transportation Centre where everybody has parked their cars. That's nothing compared to the um, ferry boat. The ferry boat. Yeah, that's even bigger. That's like all of this over here is just full of people for the ferry boat. But we are standing in the cold waiting for our all-star music. Okay, so we're back in the room now. Really, really tired. Really tired. Ready for bed, but I've had a great day. We've been... It doesn't feel like we did just get house breakfast this morning. It feels like two days ago. <laughs> this feels like a long day. Yeah, but we've had a really nice time and I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. We're going to get to bed now, so... Thank you so much for watching this one. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys!